Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Myers back here with another video for y'all. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all my Marshall Studio Vintage 20 Watt Plexi. Now, before I go on with this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, join my brand new Patreon, that's patreon.com slash Justin Myers Guitars. I'll have a link down below in the description box. Like this video and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. Thank you all so much. Now on with the video here. So this is a Marshall Studio Vintage, the new 20 watt Plexi amp. And um, I'm really, really liking this amp. I've been really curious about these and I happened to find one at my local marketplace here and uh, picked it up in a trade last night. And I'm just blown away by how good that this thing sounds. This is my favorite new Marshall. And in my opinion is the best amp that Marshall has put out in a very, very long time, in my opinion. This is a fantastic amp. I'm just floored with this. It just sounds awesome. It's incredibly lightweight, only 20 watts, so you can bring it out to a small club and, um, you know, 500 seat room or something, and you could totally get away with using this amp. I mean, it's just so incredible. It sounds like a plexi. It has the roar of a plexi. It cleans up really well with the guitar volume knob, and it just does everything a Plexi does. And I'm just so happy with this. I'm so stoked with it that I'm going to start bringing it out on the road myself now. Um, that's how much I'm liking this amp. I have a Bogner Cube cabinet that's a 112 cabinet that I'm running with this Plexi. It has a Vintage 30 in there, um, but the cabinet itself just sounds amazing. I, I love it, you know, and I, I personally like vintage 30s. You know, some people kind of have a love-hate relationship with that speaker. But, um, you know, with a Plexi, I would love to run it with a Greenback. But vintage 30 will work well in a live mix especially. So I'm really digging the way that, th that this amp responds with the vintage 30, even with the Bogner Cube. So I'm happy with it. So it's good enough for me. But just to kind of go through the amp here. So it's super simple. There's just your power switch and then your standby. And what's cool with this is that there's a half power, or not, it's actually more than a half power. The low power setting there sets the amp down to five watts. And then the high setting sets it to 20 watts. So it's really manageable and you can really crank the hell out of this amp and not get crazy stage volume like you would with a 50 watt or 100 watt plexi like my 68s um i mean they're just so loud that uh you know for a small club it's just not really ideal to bring something like that out so that's where this really comes into play and um this would be a great choice to bring like i say for a small club like a 500 seat room or something like this so like i say yeah the low power just knocks it down to five watts the high power knock uh, cranks it up to 20 watts which is cool and then you just have your presence bass middle treble high treble just totally typical plexi layout and then your four inputs and um there's a couple added features on the back that i'll show you all i'll spin the amp around here in a second and uh we can take a look at that as well there's like an effects loop and some other things so why don't we go on over and uh flip this thing around and y'all can see the back of this okay so here's the back and um just again, super simple, just your speaker outputs. You got a DI output you could run and then um, just an, an effects loop that, which is cool, you can turn on or off. So if you're not even using that, it just totally takes it out of the circuit, which is really cool. I like that a lot um, in case I'm not running any pedals or anything. So, you know, this is just a really great amp, guys. And, you know, I just picked this thing up and I mean, it, it weighs next to nothing. I mean, it, it's so lightweight, Um like I say, this this is just a really great amp. I mean, on so many levels. It's lightweight. It sounds incredible. It sounds so much like a Plexi. I mean, it, it is a Plexi. You know, it has that roar. It's just, it's 20 watts, so it's a little bit less headroom, and it's not as, I don't know, I guess you could say muscular or as, um, as bold, as big sounding as a um, 50 watt or 100 watt Plexi. But that's, cool in its own little way you know it's a 20 watt it breaks up really easily and you could set this thing on six and it's still a very manageable stage volume so why don't we take this thing on up to the studio and take a listen to this all right guys so i got everything all set up here and plugged in i've just got my r9 les paul and i'm going straight into the marshall studio vintage the 20 watt plexi here 
going right into my Bogner cube. No pedals, nothing else on. It's just going to be straight up right into the amp. And I have both of the channels jumpered. So I just have a patch cable going from the bottom input of the bright channel into the low channel on the top input. So, and then I'm just plugging the guitar straight into the top input of the bright channel. So let me know what y'all think of this tone. I'm really digging it. Like I say, I think this is Marshall's best amp. So drop a comment down below with what you guys think. So that concludes my demo of the Marshall 20 watt Studio Vintage Plexi amp. 
I hope that you all really enjoyed this. Um, I'm really digging this amp. I think it sounds amazing. And I'm definitely going to be using it a lot on future gigs coming up here. So um, again, let me know what you all think. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And join my brand new Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash Justin Myers Guitarist. I really wish I would have had that resource coming up as a musician where I could pick the brain of a professional musician's opinion and their experience and get their advice and get their wisdom on the music business and how to become a better guitar player just for 20 bucks a month. I think it's very reasonable. It's very fair. And again, I really wish I would have had something like this. So be sure to join that. That really helps me out with these videos. I'm spending a lot of time making this content for you guys. And um, just again, any, any support, anything you guys can give, I really would appreciate that. It really helps me out again. So again, that's patreon.com slash Justin Myers Guitarist. And if you don't want to do that, I also have a Venmo tip jar and a PayPal tip, tip jar that I'll link down below in the comment section and the description box. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you again and take care.